Hello everyone, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest update. This is the English version of our radio analysis this weekend of uh, Sunday until Tuesday, August 10 to 12, 2025. Happy weekend to all, okay? And uh, this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to thank our partners, BPI Sustainability. If you're interested, just click on the link here to know more about the, the program of BPI and also the local government of Naga City headed by our Honorable Mayor Lenny Robredo and our Vice Mayor Honorable Gabi Bordado. So we have a tropical cyclone. It's a severe tropical storm named uh, Pudul. That's the international name and it's likely to enter uh, later tonight inside the Philippine area of responsibility and it will be named by Pagasa as Gorio but rest assured this system will not have a direct effect to the country except for some areas of Batanes maybe the northern portions if the truck goes south towards southern Taiwan it may bring some gust winds and occasional rains the system is such a small uh, circulation okay uh, roughly 200 to 300 kilometers in diameter moving west to west northwest for the next five days and there's a possibility that this system will weaken before making landfall over Taiwan so most of the computer models are eyeing a Taiwan landfall within the next uh, five days here's the last graph set that we created yesterday valid for the next 48 hours since during Sundays we don't do uh, graph set okay just this video since we are so busy yesterday and last Friday so here's Budul right now it's currently here expected to enter par in a moment and the wind system of and the winds of this system has been fluctuating since yesterday the uh, early this morning it's 100 kph this afternoon it went down to 95 and uh, maybe it will just maintain because of uh, the circulation is not healthy right now most of the uh, rain bands are located to the south of the uh, center because of unfavorable atmospheric conditions we're going to show to you later the uh, forecast of these models as well as the various agencies monitoring Pudul and uh, over the Philippine Islands it's very normal tropical weather with uh, fair weather conditions when you say fair weather in the morning sunny skies cloudy and noontime through the afternoon evening there might be some severe thunderstorms so it's isolated scattered the southwest monsoon right now is on a vacation on a vake it's currently over the indian ocean stationary there for the next 15 to 20 days Actually, the Bureau of Meteorology, uh, BOM of Australia, the latest modern Julian oscillation shows that the uh, wet phase of the modern Julian oscillation will remain just over the Indian Ocean until the end of August. So we don't know if what date will it return to our uh, basin. So we will wait and see. But since it's on a dry phase, we expect that the southwest monsoon is not strong enough. Actually, uh, Pudul will not will not be an influence for the uh, southwest monsoon. There's just thunderstorms mm -hmm. over the uh, Philippines and the uh, uh, western section. Although uh, the area of uh, Kalayan Island Group and the Spotlist might have a very uh, simple southwest monsoon, not strong enough. Okay, but the winds will be from 30 to 40 kbh. Here's the uh, latest. Uh, Fast animation, so there you go, this is Pudul right now. It's quite uh, fighting for its survival because of a very strong upper level winds known as wind shear. So here's the Philippines, uh, looking good with some thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. Here in Naga City, no thunderstorm whatsoever were reported during the day, but we are experiencing some cloudy conditions and hot uh, uh, heat index reaching uh, 43 to 45 degrees centigrade and here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation blue image from windy.com as you can see here the storm is quite disorganized 
Japan Meteorological Agency upgraded into a typhoon, but based on what we see right now, it's just a tropical storm or severe tropical storm. Uh, JTWC downgraded it from 100 to 95 kph. And uh, the latest of this uh, update will be released uh, this evening as we speak. Here's the uh, upper level winds, the wind shear, and the storm is moving towards increasing uh, wind shear velocity of 50 knots. So that's 95 kph. It will tear apart parts of this system. The only one that is offsetting the intensity of the system is the high uh, sea surface temperature. Okay, so here's the uh, um, tendency for the next, uh, I mean, for the past 24 hours. So it's currently increasing over the area where the storm will be in the next two days. So it might weaken or maintain that severe tropical storm status. But the European model and the American model might reach this system to become a category one, just a category one storm before it will weaken. Aside from the upper level winds or wind shear, we have a dry air intrusion because of a high pressure rate somewhere here, bringing uh, bad conditions to the storm. That's why it's very ugly right now. It's not so uh, organized. Most of the rain bands are located Most of the rain bands are located on the central and southern portion of the circulation. The system is currently here and it's moving towards the west. Okay, so this is the dry air intrusion. As you can see, it's moving uh, uh, into the northern portion of this uh, system and it's uh, avoiding any intensification. Okay. So uh, we must think that this is not quite a strong system. So here's the uh, clock from the Joint Typhoon Warning System as of uh, 2 p.m. Uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Okay, we will refresh, refresh this page. Here's now the latest one as of 8 p.m. It remains at 95 kph and slightly to slowly intensify because of the offsetting effects of the warm oceanic heat content where it will pass over 30 degrees centigrade of ocean waters okay and uh, it's likely to become a minimal typhoon before it will weaken as it passes over ishigaki jima miyaku jima and it will just be a severe tropical storm as it makes landfall over northern taiwan passing over taipei that will be uh, on august 13 wednesday Okay, so uh, the cone of uncertainty is away from Batanes, so there's no problem at all except for the coastal waters that could reach heights of 2.5 meters. So please take all necessary precautions, fishermen uh, venturing out to sea, particularly over this area of the Batanes. Okay, here's the latest from Bagasa. As of 11 a.m., there will be a new one at 11 p.m. probably. Severe weather bulletin number one. Since this is advisory, it's still outside of power, but once it enters later tonight, it will be severe weather bulletin number one. So that's the rules of Vagasa. It will be named as Gorio. Okay. So, uh, Pagasa doesn't show any landfall for Taiwan. It will just pass over the coastal waters or the offshore area of northern Taiwan on August 13 as well. Here's the multi-agency tracks and all, most of them are tracking either over central or northern Taiwan. The southernmost track is uh, the Hong Kong Observatory and the uh, northerly uh, track is the uh, uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center but this is the uh, 2 p.m. Uh, uh, forecast. There you go. That's the latest. It might make landfall mm -hmm. over metropolitan Taipei. So that's the latest one. So uh, it's going to be uh, a alarming situation for Taiwan. So residents or Filipinos living or watching our video, please take all those precautions up there in Taiwan. Okay. 
And here's the microwave shot from Cyclonic WX. This is coming from the uh, Naval Research Lab at Monterey, California. And uh, as you can see, we can we can see any eye. Okay, so it's uh, really a tropical storm. And this is from the 11 p.m. Uh, image. Uh, the system is here. This is possible. The uh, the center is here. Less clouds over the uh, northern portions because of the dry air intrusion and the wind shear. It's uh, pushing most of the rain bands to the southern part of the circulation. And you can also see here, okay, the overall circulation is this large, but the uh, uh, cloudiness is located along the southwestern and the southern portion of Pudul. Now let's take a look at the other uh, uh, graph. This is the uh, diagnostic comparison of all models from uh, RAMMB, CIRA. And as you can see here, they are still forecasting it to reach Category 1 storm within the next uh, 48 hours before it will slowly weaken. This is the wind shear. And look at that. It's really increasing. And particularly on Monday, it will peak to uh, 50 or 40 knots based on this uh, model. But we are going to show to you the latest one from CIMSS. The, so the uh, sea surface temperature is the one that is offsetting this, this storm to maintain its intensity. And the mid-level relative humidity is quite low, 60% because of the dry air intrusion. And here's the uh, oceanic heat content, the uh, tropical cyclone heat potential. And it's moving, the storm is moving over uh, cooler seas, uh, oceanic heat content. So it might maintain just a severe tropical storm. Maybe it could reach category 1, depending on the outflow offset, offset of the outflow, the sea surface temperature. So we shall see what will happen on this uh, weather system. But it's such a small storm, okay, roughly 200 to 300 kilometers in diameter. And uh, here's the, uh, uh, let me see, deep shear. So there you go, 55 knots. It's over uh, the area of 55 knot northeasterly uh, vertical wind shear. Okay, so let's move now to the latest on the uh, European model. So there you go, it's moving fast, 20 to 30 kph. It will make landfall in the vicinity of uh, central Taiwan. That will be August 13, Wednesday, as a, a severe tropical storm. Uh, although it says 994, on, re on reality, in reality, I mean, it's higher than the forecast models. So most likely it will maintain a severe tropical storm or uh, if it goes higher, it could become a cut 1, 120 kph typhoon. But since look at the size of that system, okay, such a small beast. And uh, and look at the Habagat, it's uh, non-existent over the uh, Philippines, just over the West Philippine Sea. Southwesterly wind flow or weak habagat for the next uh, one week. Actually, it will exist uh, till the end of August. And uh, it's currently uh, in a monsoon break right now, the habagat. On the rain forecast, nothing to worry. Just the, the usual afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms over the rest of the, uh, mostly all over the Philippines, including Naga, Bicol. There might be thunderstorms tomorrow in the afternoon. And tomorrow evening, it's gone. Then Tuesday evening again, or afternoon, it will be uh, producing another thunderstorms, these uh, fair conditions. So there's the storm. No habagat. Okay. It's on a break. Then, as it makes landfall over Taiwan, habagat is still non-existent. Okay. It's just here. Just the southwesterly wind flow, thunderstorm activity across the country. In the afternoon or evening, 
And uh, even though the storm is already gone by uh, August 14, dissipated over, or it will be dissipated over the area of, uh, it will be, dissip it will dissipate over uh, China, southern China on Thursday, August 14. So still, normal conditions across the country except for afternoon and evening rain showers and thunderstorms throughout the week. So don't forget to bring your umbrellas, your rain gear, especially in the afternoon or evening. Nothing to worry about. But watch out for severe thunderstorms that will last for one to two hours. It could create some localized flooding in hazard prone areas okay, of our country. So far, for the next uh, two weeks until August 24, it's all clear. No LPA whatsoever, although the uh, American model is forming a... Uh, let me see if it's still here. Low pressure here, or tropical depression near the coastal uh, waters of Vietnam. In the Philippines, not a problem at all. Madden Julian Oscillation from the Australian Bureau of Meteorology, Australian government. And here's the latest right now. It's currently here. And then for the next uh, one month or three weeks, it will just be in the vicinity of Indian Ocean until September 7. So it's very weak. That's why we're not seeing enhancement of the Southwest Monsoon. It They have some relationship, the MJO wet face and the uh, enhanced habagat. So if the um, MJO is so strong, the wet face is very strong, and there's a tropical cyclone, the habagat is quite strong. Okay. So here's the forecast until September 8. No, it's not uh, moving. The animation is not moving. There you go. Let let us begin again. So this is the dry face, the brown one. So, uh, it's really uh, normal across the Philippines, and here's the wet face over the Indian Ocean, entering the Indian Ocean. Okay, for the waves, nothing to worry about. If we move this slider until August 13, during the day of the landfall of the storm over Batanes, only uh, the area of uh, Batanes could have... Uh, actually, the area of Batanes is only... 1.5 to 2 meters in wave heights, but still uh, dangerous to small sea crafts. So please take on your precautions here. Rest of the country is not a problem at all. Calm to uh, just up to half a meter or one meter in wave heights all throughout the week until uh, Friday. There's nothing to worry about except for the Kalayan Island group. It could reach uh, wave heights of 1.5, 1 meter. Uh, so everything is normal. You can uh, fish around the country, okay, and enjoy our livelihood. So there you go. That's the latest for this Sunday, and we are now moving into another week of August, and we we, we will see you again probably this Tuesday to give you another update on uh, severe tropical storm, mini storm, okay, Pudul, which will be named Goyo. We will be issuing storm watch maybe tomorrow to show you the 24 hour track of the storm. We will be issuing just every 24 hours since it's a non threat to our country. Everything is quite normal over the uh, Philippines. Okay, so again, take all those precautions against lightning strikes when we have severe thunderstorms during the afternoon or evening all throughout the week. Okay, this is Mike Padua saying uh, have a great week ahead. And uh, stay safe always. Thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.